this failing, but not once did I give up. Because I knew one day the mind wouldn't want to continue beating me up, putting myself in such pain, feeling that pain, and holding all that pain inside and feeling dead inside like I'm destroyed and I'm just an empty shell walking around this, this earth. If I had touched upon some of the feelings of derealization and depersonalization, then continue watching. Because this is the fourth video, like I said. And uh, I've come a long way. A long way. Let's just go over this a little bit. I had it for like two and a half years. I was stuck with those feelings I told you about. Uh, we all know what this is. We don't have to describe any more of the details. We all know what it feels like. And every, everybody has something similar to express. It all sounds the same to me. It sounds like fucking hell. Okay? Now, I completely, I'm going to say this again, completely forgot I've even been through this. My mind goes goes for weeks, months, no, 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 for months. Forgetting that I had been through this, been stuck for two years and a half. I forgot completely that that happened at some point in my life. And it was just only, it was only three or four years ago that I was stuck for two years and a half. So, 2013, do the math. Right now it's uh, July 2016, and in May 2013, or the end of May, I'll never forget the day it started. Uh, so, that's... That's when this happened to me, May 2013. Anyway, uh, do the math while I'm thinking about how I got out of it. Now, how the hell did I get out of that feeling, okay? And I'm very raw and animated. And I'm walking around, I'm sorry if this disturbs anyone. But I really am trying to help and really trying to activate my memory now. I don't want to remember this shit, but guess what? That's the good news. Sometimes it's hard to remember the feeling once you haven't had the feeling for so long. And that's exactly my point. If you go enough time, enough days go by, even hours, start with hours. Enough, if enough hours go by where your mind is occupied, and I'm not talking about you forcing it. Forget forcing. I better do some work. I better go to a party. I better... Uh, I better socialize, I better, I better read a book, I better watch a movie to distract the whole distraction thing. You're fighting yourself and then it gets, sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it does. I'm not talking about that. Because when you fight yourself, you remind yourself. Sometimes you're fighting and you're reminding yourself, you're trying so hard. Even though I took the medicine that I took in the past and went to the psychiatrists and the therapists, there was one more simple ingredient that I have to share today in this fourth video with you guys. The most important thing that I could share with you is even though I was trying to fight it and I did all those things that I needed to do, I did not think of it or feel and I did not think of it as a fight. I thought of it as I'm going to start to forget about this shit not believe in it anymore. Not, did you hear me? Not believe in this stuff anymore. Because all these are thoughts that you believe in. That looks strange. What's real? Who am I? Where am I? Is this a dream? Is this that? Is this this? Let's be a philosopher today. Guess what? I don't want to be a fucking philosopher anymore. The day I started saying that to myself... With the medicine or whatever help I got, because everyone's different. Some need medicine to, if you're that stuck and you have a brain chemistry issue with the depression and the anxiety that fuels DR and DP, derealization, depersonalization. If it's being fueled by OCD, if it's being fueled by a drug that started the whole episode, if it was fueled and it's too late because your brain chemistry is off, you had a panic attack, 
or you had depression for too long, or OCD and depression like I had, or intrusive thoughts that made me depressed and questioned my existence and all that, for too long, if it's been fueled, it's time to let the fuel out. Let the fuel out. What the fuck am I talking about? Let's just talk about that for a second. You got a car. It runs on gas. Okay? You, you add more gas. You're fighting the road. The car. You want it to be stronger. You keep adding fuel. You keep adding the thoughts to your brain. The car keeps driving. You're driving yourself crazy. Okay? You empty out the fuel. You take something... They have an instrument to do that. People actually steal each other's gas. I don't even want to get into that. It's some shit that happens uh, in times of uh, distress. Who the fuck knows? Maybe it happened during the hurricane. Sandy, I don't know. Maybe they call it deciphering. I don't know what the hell. If you steal, or cipher, if they steal, if you take one of those... Let me slow down and stop walking so much because I'm getting excited. If you take the gas out of a car... Drain it. Drain the freaking engine. Drain the power source and the fuel from the car. Which is your brain. And just go... I'm gonna let it go. I'm not even fighting it. I'm just... Taking my medicine if I have to. If that's what I need. If that... Going to a therapist if that's what I need. To laugh this thing off and say... Ah, <laughs> it's all bullshit. You know, I used to think this way. And I, was, I wasn't living my life... Once you get started draining that fuel, not fighting, remember, you're not fighting the road with the car and adding more fuel, you're draining it. Once you start saying, fuck it all, and the word is called de-stress, once you're de-stressing and you're just being yourself again, not thinking so hard, every time you do that, every minute, every hour, every day, every month, Little by little, you're leaving this shit behind you. You left the fuel on the ground out in the desert, and now you're in freaking... You're somewhere else, man. You're on the Las Vegas Strip. You're fucking in a new state of mind with a whole new set of brain chemistry. Because you let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Stop trying to figure out what the fuck this shit is. Stop trying to figure out what's wrong with you. You're looking it up right now as we speak and you're scrolling through all the YouTube videos going through all this shit and you found me. I'm glad you found me because now I'm going to tell you. Fucking let this shit go. Yes, we're calling it derealization and depersonalization. Yes, there's a name for it. Yes, the psychiatrists don't even realize what the fuck is going on. Yes, it's complicated. But guess what? They do know and the doctors do know and we all know that we feel depressed Anxiety, and that's what keeps this going even even more. That, a psychiatrist could tell you, there's a brain chemistry problem here, and we need to uh, de-stress. Um, that's why sometimes people, they go on a vacation before this happens, you know. You know, God forbid, you stress yourself out so much, like drugs stress the brain. This could happen with or without drugs. Like I said, it happened to me without drugs. If you stress your brain chemistry out too much, get too depressed, thinking all the time, thinking OCD or whatever you have, if you really need medicine for it, and you, if you got to get it, de-stress, get the medicine. Uh, I got medicine at first. I got the anxiety meds mixed with the, uh, the antidepressant, the antidepressant meds, and it worked for me. I started de-stressing, that was the beginning, I started talking to a therapist, mixing things up, like I say in my other videos, mix things up. And most important, what's this video about? De-stressing, letting it go. Let the fuel out. Stop that car from driving you mad. That car, the brain. Let it go. That complicated computer, turn it off. Stop thinking so hard. Start to say, fuck it. This is all bullshit. How about phrases like this? How about like, how about this? Fuck you, derealization. Fuck out of here. Look, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I've used my sense of humor. I've used all this shit. I've laughed about it with a therapist. 
She happened to be pretty good looking. Once I got a lady therapist, I can't believe it. I actually sometimes you got to figure out who fits you like a glove. Which which therapist? I'm serious. I uh, I couldn't deal with this other guy who was. Uh, he kept saying, uh, uh, "Just turn your attention somewhere else. Just turn your attention somewhere else." It didn't work for me. I don't want to hear it, he said. I don't want to hear it. It doesn't make sense what you're talking about. I, I, thank you very much. Get the fuck out of here. So then I got another therapist. I found one that was like laughing and it almost felt like uh, a social thing, uh, uh, like like a group thing, a group setting. I actually was there with a, <laughs> with my uh, I was there with my uh, with my other half. It was a couples therapy thing, but it actually helped me. We all laughed about how I was. Uh, Nuts for thinking this way, and uh, all the stuff that I've been through in my brain, and fuck it, I started letting it go. Uh, got it out of my system, basically, and uh, here I am. Uh, forgot the whole fucking thing happened. Went back to, uh, I mean, I never stopped working a full time job or doing my hobbies or socializing or anything. But now I'm enjoying those things again. Now I'm back. I've been gone for a while. But now I'm back. I've suffered through derealization, depersonalization. May 2013. The worst horrific experience. Horrific experience. Horrendous. Of my life. And I'm sure now of your lives. If you're feeling this way. It's time to fucking start leaving it behind. This shit is going to be miles from you one day. It's going to be miles from your brain one day. Oh, yes, it will be. You know how I know this? You know, you're asking me, how the fuck do I know? I'll tell you how I know, okay? I'll tell you. Because I forgot the whole fucking thing happened and I'm miles from it. Now I think I'm five, five, 10,000 miles from this. It started at, started off where I, I, I thought about it maybe a couple times a week. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit. Am I... Uh, Thinking that this is a strange world and my derealization zone is... Am I in the derealization zone? Depersonalization? Guess what? Now that I'm thinking about it so hard, I'm getting back into it and I don't want... To. No, I'm saying that's what happened back then. Now I can't even... I can't even create the same feeling. My brain doesn't even know how to do it. The brain chemistry changed. I can't even do it anymore. I can't even create it right now that that type of depression and anxiety... Remember... It's just your brain. It's just chemistry. It's just brain chemistry. That's all. It's just fucking with you. Oh, it happened from a drug episode? Oh, go figure. Isn't that a surprise? It fucked with your brain chemistry. The world didn't change around you. Your brain changed. This is John 77. I'm signing off. Think about this for a second. Start to let this shit go. And always... De-stress and have a sense of humor. Very important in life. Take time to de-stress. Feel yourself. I'm talking about feeling the sunshine on your back. Let's walk outside. Let's take a walk. Hey, where's my dog? You want to take a walk? Come on. Get outside and just start to live. As simple as that. And then one day, you'll start to feel like yourself again. Not instantly, no doesn't work that way, but, you know, I want to be real. But you're going to instantly leave the stuff behind the day you decide to, and you'll never look back. And if you look back once in a while, you might have trouble remembering. That's the good news. And when the sunshine hits your back, wherever you are, Las Vegas or out, or out in the Brooklyn backyard like I am right now, eventually... When the sunshine hits your back. Oh, there's a cat. Well, I don't know if I don't know if you could see this, but uh, simple joys of life. Eventually, one day, when the sunshine hits your back, that's all you're gonna feel is sunshine. Nothing else. No thunder and no rain. Just sunshine. Cause you're not fucking thinking so much anymore, and you just realized, shit. Life is great. This is fucking real. <laughs> this is fucking real shit. You know what I'm saying? Not your thoughts. Peace. Let it go. Let that fuel go. Fuel. Let it go. 
Stop revving up the engine. De-stress. Relax. Enjoy. Peace.